City on that Times Square. We're here for a mission trip. I'm in Washington, D.C. We pass out free coffee and donuts and ask people we could pray for them in any way. This week, um, I'm doing missions in New York, helping Queens Church. I'm in the subway, just left Times Square. We're serving in our community. We did a lot this week. We have been serving the Marines with coffee and donuts, sharing about Easter service coming up with Pillar Church. It's been great. Lots of good interactions, good conversations. Just the small conversations we can have could have a big impact on people who have influence and people who do important jobs here in D.C. Well, I've learned how to like approach people. Like it's a lot easier to like talk to random people on the street and share my faith. I've learned to put aside my fears, especially like my need for approval from others, and just to let God take it. Sometimes if I let my presumptions um, rule my judgments, then I can't do what God wants me to do. We passed out a lot of flyers, talked to people about Jesus, and invited a lot of people to church. One interaction uh, that I've had today was with a Marine named Wyatt. He just seemed like a very lonely guy, but he enjoyed talking with us, and we got to share the gospel with him. We got to share coffee, donuts with him, invite him to Easter, and just share the love of Christ. My highlight of the week has definitely been praying for people today. It was very nice to have people open to us loving them. I've been to Rush Week and I loved every minute of it, but I felt Rush more helped me grow closer to God and build myself. You get to do things that you may not have done on mission trips or on like camps with the church. Go up to just random people and tell them things like about Jesus. Knowing that this city uh, is very broken and very lost, that it would be up to us to just have small interactions uh, that could have big impacts. to step out of my comfort zone quite a lot. Get to meet a lot of new people and get to learn more about people's lives personally. It's just, it's, it's so personal. It's a great way to get out of your comfort zone with a safety net. I had to approach random strangers and tell them about Jesus and it was scary but definitely worth it. I say definitely come because it's honestly so much fun and you get to hang out with your friends and also tell about the gospel, which is like two amazing things for me. I want to encourage you to take the next step and come to Rushmore. I want you to come to Rushmore. Come to Rushmore. Just come to Rushmore. It's a lot of fun. I want to invite you to take the next step and come to Rushmore. Step out of your comfort zone. You'll love it. You will not regret it.